A man in North Carolina was arrested after police stopped him while he was taking his daughter to school and found out that he had a warrant out for his arrest. Now, what was the warrant for? Apparently, 14 years ago, he rented a VHS version of a movie, Freddy Got Fingered, and didn't return it. And so, yes, there was a warrant out for his arrest. It was that moment uh, that he was informed that there was a warrant out for his arrest, specifically for not returning the 2001 flop, Freddy Got Fingered. Now, Tom Green <laughs> starred in that movie, and when he found out about this, he couldn't believe it. In fact, he tweeted about it and said, I just saw this, and I'm struggling to believe it is real. But it is real. Now, uh, Myers, his name is James Myers, said he vaguely even remembers renting the comedy, which has a 4.5 out of 10 rating on IMDb.com and won five Razzie Awards in 2002, including Good worst, for them. <laughs> including worst picture. Apparently, when he failed to return it, a warrant was issued in late 2001. I didn't even know that <laughs> you, you could have <laughs> wow a warrant for what? for a VHS. Tape. I don't know what that is, What's, but it sounds like it's some sort of device that helps you watch this a This story is just, <laughs> it, this is everything. This is everything. <laughs> like some kind of it's a great story. I love it. I know. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So VHS, that stands for anno, video uh -huh. something else. Right. right. <laughs> okay, thanks for breaking that this down. This big, today. cumbersome. That's why we have this expert on the show. <laughs> well, I'm here. Um, so, th but it goes, it, there is a serious point here. It yes. goes to our, the police state mentality we have here. Look. On the one hand, back then, hey dude, return the tape. And if you know you didn't return the tape, the guy's got a who, who ran the blockbuster back then or whatever has got a right to say, I want my money back, right? That tape cost whatever it did, etc. <coughs> but have some common sense that 14 years later, when that video store doesn't even exist anymore, right? Mm -hmm. To not handcuff the guy, to say, hey, you know what? I mean, hey, it, it turns out, uh, Mr. Murphy. It's a, you have this thing from 14 years ago. Yeah. You really got to clear it up. Can you come down to the station whenever and 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 because we need to pay have you pay the $200 fine because if you don't then every time I we pull you over for a routine traffic stop you're going to have to go through this rigmarole. Right. So that that's how a human being would handle it. But now we're not allowed to have human judgment. So everything must must be dealt with with maximum yeah. force. So <laughs> he brought, they hank off the guys. They hank off them. He's I mean I'm I'm a father of two. You don't want to be handcuffed for a VHS yeah. of a wonderful movie, by the way. I believe the <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes or IMDb was not really fair to this piece of art. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you would know but, you're an actor. But, but, you, but you don't get handcuffed in front of your kid. That and, and you're right. The cops should have common sense. But then again, you know, he's like, no, because I'm I'm not supposed to have common sense because that's the judge this decision, and I have to follow what it says here, and it's the same. If you, if you leave common sense like open, m people will apply it correctly. But then again, some people might not apply it correctly. No, we don't. We don't leave a lot of room for human judgment in this country. And look, <clears throat> to make an even more serious point, and it, it's a bit of a downer, but it's true. I mean, think about this. He he's now dealing with a Class C misdemeanor. He's going to deal with a two hundred dollar fine. Which, by the way, Tom Green said that he will pay, which is nice of him. Yeah, that's um, nice. But this guy did something so small. Think about what Wall Street did to us. They robbed the American people and they faced no criminal charges whatsoever. You know, they didn't deal with any real consequences. In fact, the American taxpayers came forward and they bailed them out, not because they wanted to, but because the government decided to. So you have working class, middle class people making tiny little mistakes without even realizing they're making their mistakes, right? With no malicious intent. And they're dealing with police handcuffing them in front of their children. So Jimmy makes his point all the time, and I'm going to steal his thunder here a little bit. But and I hadn't thought to connect it as you just did, Anna. But guys has a $200 fine, and I said he should pay it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the bankers have to pay sometimes $11 billion fines. So and in some cases, clear, obvious fraud where they ha say in the emails we already have, say like, hey, we're going to screw over our customers here, we're going to make a lot of money, and they laugh about it. In, in the case of HSBC, they laundered drug cartel money. Uh, to, uh, billions of dollars of it. Okay, mm -hmm. if you laundered ten bucks, <laughs> they'd come and handcuff you in front of your daughter, right? If you apparently, if you forgot a VHS tape from 14 years ago, you're going to jail. But these guys laundered money for the drug cartels. But since they're bankers, they're above the law. They pay, you know, a fraction of their profits, which is still a lot of money. You know, if you did, as Jimmy always says, if you if you paid eleven billion dollars, you were probably guilty. <laughs> okay, they, they've got a lot of lawyers. It's not like they're like, oh, we're 
we didn't do it, but shoot, let's pay him 11 billion anyway. Yeah. And and yet not uh, not one of those executives got handcuffed.